Good evening, we're gonna open the meeting. Opening meeting law statement. This meeting is being televised by live on cable channel nine and being taped by a PBD Access TV, also being recorded by a city council stenographer. I'd like it at this time open up to our Chief Griffin. Good evening, uh, everyone. My name's Tom Griffin. I'm the chief here in the city of PBD. Good evening. You. Can you hear me now? Um, I just wanted to make a special presentation. We have a gentleman here, Mr. David Anisi from Linfield. Uh, we had an event that happened about a year ago right on um, one of the um, overpasses by Sonic Hot Dog where a motor vehicle had gone off the side of the road and was in a ditch up against the um, embankment. Mr. Anisi happened to be driving by. Um, several people stopped. He stopped. He got out of his car. A number of people were taking video of the, the actual scene. Mr. Anisi asked if anybody was in the car. He was told there was a guy in the car and actually uh, the guy was having difficulty getting out of the car. It was an older gentleman. Mr. Anisi went down to where the car was. He noticed that it, it had actually started to catch on fire. So he climbed over the car to get to the side door, smashed the window open with his elbow, um, unbuckled the gentleman because he couldn't, he, he was having a hard time himself understanding what was going on, pulled the gentleman out, and um, within another minute or two, the whole car actually engulfed in flame. And if it had it not been for Mr. Anisi, uh, that gentleman probably not, would not have survived that accident. So I felt it was a very special uh, occasion to, to bring to, um, him in front of the, uh, the council and present him with this plaque in recognition of his, uh, his bravery. And this is presented to David Anisi by the city of Peabody for his bravery and coverage with his actions on 12, 11, 16 by pulling a man from a burning car and saving his life. And it's presented by myself and, and Mayor Bentoncourt. So. Thank, Thank you very you. much, Mr. Anderson. Thank you very much. Thank you. You want to have him lead the uh, pledge of allegiance? At this time, I'd like to stand for a moment of science, silence, and also Mr. Anisi will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Move for approval of the record, Mr. President. All in favor? Any opposed? So vote. Move to uh, hearings 4A. Would Councilor Turco. Give me one second to give you the date. I believe it's uh, that hearing is uh, at the request of Attorney Kelty continued until February 22nd, Tim, if I'm not mistaken. And I will find that. Ah, uh, yes. Um, he has a letter on the agenda, uh, 8, 8, 8F. Mr. President, I move to receive item 8F under suspension of the rules. So move. I'll and Mr. President, move to uh, continue the public hearing, excuse me, to uh, move the public hearing to uh, the date request of the 22nd of February. All in favor? Any opposed? To vote? Uh, there are no reported committees. No. Okay, so there's no... Uh, Reports of committees, so we we'll move to motions, orders, or resolutions. Councilor O'Neill. Thank you, Mr. President. I'd like, like to request the public services um, that they repair a damaged stop sign and pole at the end of Ann Drive. So moved. Hear the motion. All in favor? Any opposed? So vote. Nothing further. Thanks. Councilor McGinn. Thank you, Mr. President. 
Uh, move to uh, receive item 7A and um, <clears throat> I would move um, if there's no objection from the council since these are all reappointments I would I would uh, move to dispense with the reading of the list uh, and, and approve these various appointments from his honor the mayor um, You'd like it read? No, I'm sorry. Thank you, Councillor Gravel. Welcome back, by the way. We missed your wit. Uh, so uh, I would just draw the Council's attention to a couple of uh, positions on here. The uh, third individual listed, Gary Bua. Um, this is a... Uh, a reappointment to the Community Development Authority and uh, I realize I'm making a compound motion here but I would also move under suspension of the rules to receive item 8L so moved and I th you'll note that Mr. Boa is also listed uh, on 8L as a uh, an appointee to the Community Development Authority by the City Council. So under the, under the uh, legis Massachusetts legislation that, that um, uh, dictates the membership of this authority, uh, two members are appointed by the mayor and two members are appointed by the City Council. So I just wanted to correct uh, item 7A to remove Gary Boer there because it's, a, it's a, it properly, his appointment is properly uh, identified on item 8L. And uh, Mr. Feinstein, uh, I believe that should be a one-year term to expire 12-31-2018. And then the last um, edit that I would request is on the second page, about halfway down, Mr. Richard St. Pierre to the Community Preservation. Um, he is not an alternate member. He is a uh, he is a voting member of the of the uh, community preservation committee. So with those edits, I would uh, move to approve these uh, reappointments from His Honor the Mayor and the communication dated January 9th, two thousand eighteen. So moved. Any any questions? So on Mr. Feinstein's appointment, it's you, you want to change it to a one-year term? Correct. I believe that is the proper term for that uh, authority. I, I verified that against the legislation earlier today. Yeah. All in favor? As submitted. As submitted. All in favor? And changed. Any opposed? It's a vote. Thank you, Mr. President. And also uh, on that item 8L that we uh, just received a moment ago, uh, I would move to approve those reappointments um, as submitted by the City Council to the Community Development Authority. So moved. Heard a motion. All in favor? Any opposed? There's a vote. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, under suspension of the rules, I'd like to receive uh, item 8H and set up a public hearing. So moved. Hear the motion. All in favor? Any opposed? It's a vote. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, under suspension of the rules, I'd like to receive item 8J and approve all papers being in order. So moved. Heard the motion. All in favor? Any opposed? There's a vote. Thank you, Mr. President. And special the rules move to receive item 9B and set up a public hearing. So moved. Heard the motion. All in favor? Any opposed? There's a vote. 
Thank you, Mr. President. And uh, under suspension of the rules, bear with me. Uh, move to receive item 8K and refer to legal affairs. So moved. Heard a motion. All in favor? Any opposed? It's a vote. Thank you, Mr. President. No further motions. Councilor Gould. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, <coughs> under suspension of the rules, motion to receive 9C and uh, seek approval of the use of the Wigan Auditorium for the Peabody Education Foundation a Legacy Award. So moved. Thank you. Heard the motion. All in favor? Any opposed? It's a vote. No further motion, sir. Councilor Saslaw. Thank you, Council President. Uh, under suspension of uh, special rules, I'd like to receive make a motion to receive item 8E. Heard the motion. All in favor? Any opposed? It's a vote. Uh, and also, uh, under suspension of the rules, I'd like to receive item 8M and uh, this was the request from Council Sinowitz that we that the uh, mayor look into the f sent to the PATV public access TV the feasibility of t television uh, excuse me of televising the planning board and zoning board of appeals meetings and it looks like they are fine with the ZBA meetings because the ZBA zoning board of appeal meetings uh, covered here, uh, but the only issue with the um, planning board was that those meetings were being held in the low, lower level conference room, and that is not set up uh, to be recorded. Um, but if they were to move those meetings to the council chambers here in the Wigan Auditorium, they'd be happy to um, accommodate that request. So um, I would actually probably just um, ask uh, the city clerk, uh, Tim, you know, you know the meeting dates of the month better than anybody. Is there a conflict for them to come up here and meet on the day and the time that they normally meet on? Planned board meets the first and third Thursday, Councillor. So those are, off, those are the off Thursdays of us. Okay. So generally there wouldn't be a conflict with the Wigan unless there was some other event going on. So, but that would be up to the planning board if they want to move their meeting up here. Okay. From, you know, from the lower level. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, well, I'd like to make a motion um, to, that this memo be passed along to the planning board, forwarded to them, uh, and like to hear their, their uh, comments and their thoughts on it. So move. Any motion? All in favor? Any opposed? It's a vote. No further motions, thank you. Thank you. Councilor Manny Martin. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, through you to Tim, I s hear that we've fixed the acoustics. Did you do it yourself? I wish I could say yes, but no, I did not. But it's, been ta but it's been taken care of. It sounds the, great. So. The company Signet came back and they made some adjustments. There was a up in the rack. I know. Now I broke it again. No, up in the rack there was something turned off at the last meeting. So no one. Uh, I don't know how that happened, but nobody should really be up there fiddling with that because everything is all preset. But so I think right now everything sounds good. So it does. So. Now we can all hear each other, and I know it's it's uh, it sounds great on cable television too. So thank you very much, Tim, for taking care of that. Um, let's see. I would like to um, over the weekend. I got a lot of calls, and I know that Councilor Turco. I've talked to him about this in the past, and he he's received uh, calls and complaints about this as well. Uh, uh, an abundance of rat sighting out in. Ward one, so I've over the weekend and um, 
Sharon Cameron is great. I mean, she takes calls over the weekend. Uh, so she's already working on this issue. But what I'd like to do is schedule a human services meeting, if I could, at some point, Tim, to have um, Sharon Cameron of um, the health department come in and explain to folks what is going on and uh, to educate the public of what we can do and why this is happening. And again, she's already working on it. She's great. So um, I expect her to get back to the council pretty quickly already uh, to tell us the status of the situation that's going on with that. So if I could uh, schedule a public services meeting with that agenda item, that would be great. Thank you. I'm sorry, excuse me, human services. Yeah. Mr. President, through you to Councilor Manning, on the motion, um, if, if you <coughs> wouldn't mind adding the city's um, contracted um, pest service, which I believe we use A1 exterminators, that uh, has been working with Sharon Cameron on that, um, and maybe we could request that they come to that human services meeting also. Sure, um, I would do that. I, I think uh, Sharon Cameron is, is assessing the situation this week, and by Friday she's going to um, know whether um, to contact those folks to send them out. So um, if she gets to that point, then absolutely we'll, we'll um, have her report out on it or invite them along as well. Good suggestion. Thank you. If I could just have a status update on the request for the trash contract for the counselors, Tim. I do have that um, in a PDF. Um, I received it this week from Dan Doucette, so I could forward that out to all counselors. No, uh, head, of the, uh, head of the February 8th all right, great. meeting that, that you know, Council you, Gould has scheduled. Excellent. If you could get those out to us at your earliest convenience prior to that meeting. Um, I know a lot of counselors, including myself, are getting a lot of calls on the contract, and um, as Council Turco brought up at our last meeting. So if we could get that to review so that we can help um, educate the public of any changes, that would be great. Thank you very much. Council Rosano. And no motions. Councilor Turco. Mr. President, under suspension of the rules, move to receive item 8B. Heard the motion. All in favor? Any opposed? It's a vote. Mr. President, under suspension of the rules, move to receive item 8E and refer it to the special permit hearing for 795 Jubilee Drive. I'm on the 22nd. Which, okay, Councilor? Uh, Mr. President, it's 8C, uh, 8C from William Pollitt's uh, Public Services yep. Department. Heard the motion. All in favor? Any opposed? It's a vote. Mr. President, move to receive item 8D from Glenn Ferreira uh, from PMLP from, regarding uh, street light requests. All in favor? Any opposed? It's a vote. And Mr. President, um, regarding, and through you to Council McGinn, um, actually through you to the, the entire, entire Council, I know Peter, you received this already. Um, the letter from Roy Simos, which was item 8K regarding city owned land on Rockway, that's coming up um, in legal affairs shortly. And I just want the Council to be aware that that is a very contentious issue. And if anybody would like um, information on that, um, I, I believe the, the, you have you have um, the re, the request is you know if anybody would like to look further into that you may want to uh, both parties have retained counsel and it should be um, a very interesting meeting to say the least but you may want to at least take a ride by Rockway and take a look at that how that those two houses are set up and why there is legal um, issue from both parties. Um. And Mr. President, move to have public services request that PMLP place an additional street, fi street light fixture on the existing pole across from number 55 Granite Road. Heard the motion. All in favor? Any opposed? It's a vote. And Mr. President, I'd like to request a um, cost estimate from public services. This is a co-motion with um, Councilor Gould for replacing the existing traffic signals at St. Anne's Church and Tilly's Farm with newer units um, with a strobe similar to the one in front of the Brown School. 
Heard the motion. Any all in favor? Any opposed? It's a vote. And Mr. President, last but not least, um, in regarding the 795 Jubilee Drive uh, special permit hearing, there was a request by Councillor Sinowitz for the, or may, may have been Councillor Manning, for the minutes from the CDA uh, meeting the Community Development Authority. Um, after Councillor Sinowitz sent out that request, it was brought to my attention that there are no minutes from that meeting. Um, I would request that we have, uh, I, I don't know if this would be through the mayor's office, uh, that we have a clerk or somebody record the minutes from those meetings so that we can um, refer back to them because at this point I have nothing um, from that meeting um, on any of the discussion of that day. And Tim, maybe you can help me with that. Would that be through the mayor to request that we assign a clerk to that? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so it's through, uh, to, that would be to the mayor. <laughs> Heard the motion. All in favor? Any opposed? Is a vote? That's all, Mr. President. Thank you. Council Melville. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Uh, I, for my fellow councils, I'm sure you uh, saw the n article maybe a couple weeks back regarding the doubling of Peabody's poverty level based off the data from the last census. And since uh, Councilor Manning has scheduled a Human Services Committee, I'd like to refer that to that committee for further discussion. Uh, I think uh, it does warrant further discussion. Uh, it's kind of a dramatic increase with the economic climate that we're in as well. Um, and to discuss further f to see if, any, if that information and that data is being uh, evaluated at the city level. To, to isolate which groups are being affected. Is it a location in the city? Is it a demographic, age demographic issue? So that we can better address it. I know there's a lot of work going on right now with private organizations that are coming up with their with solutions uh, and to see how we can maybe aid them through that information. So I'd like to refer that to the Human Services Committee. If I may, uh, the school department may have some data and some information, especially since they deal with the, uh, the free lunches and, and uh, issues that come up throughout the, the day and there. If you may want to reach out and ask for um, someone from the school department uh, to be there, the business agent. Just a matter of something to think about. Thank you, Mr. President. Yeah, I pulled some of the info. I pulled a lot of the, the last minutes from regarding that, and I think that would be helpful. Uh, but uh, I, it's specific to the, the poverty increase is something I really, I think it's important for us to isolate and figure out what's going on there. But yes, I appreciate that and we can definitely go down that road. Heard the motion. All in favor? It's a vote. Council Gravel, welcome back. I'm not sure of procedures. I've been gone a long time. No. <laughs> this is like being on the other side of the world. Literally, not used to seeing you from this side. Uh, on the suspension of rules, I'd like to receive item 7B and refer to the Finance Committee. So moved. Heard the motion. All in favor? Any opposed? It's a vote. I'd also like to make a uh, co motion with Councilor Turco. Uh, I'm sure he's received the same number of complaints that I've received because. Um, and I'm sure that maybe even Councilor Manning Martin has received them as well. Uh, there's been an increase in the uh, truck traffic on uh, Bartholomew Street in violation of the, uh, the requirements that we set against the postings because of lack of enforcement and also uh, several complaints about speeding. Um, not just in that area, but, uh, you know, I, I think we should start by targeting that area. I, I think on a number of occasions we said, you know, having, you know, rules and, and laws in place are great, but if nobody enforces them, they're, they're useless. And uh, so I'd like to have the chief of police and the uh, and maybe Captain Richards uh, prepare a, an assessment of how well the enforcement is going there. Um, which they would be able to show us with the number of ticketed vehicles that they've um, gotten on, on the uh, Bartholomew Street and also provide us with some insight as to how we can uh, better monitor and enforce um, particularly the, the uh, changed speeding laws within the, within the city which are now supposed to be 25 miles per hour unless posted otherwise. Um, so uh, 
I'd like to get a report back from them. So moved. Heard the motion. All in favor? Any opposed? It's a vote. And then uh, a, a request to ask the mayor to look into um, the possibility of providing um, the city council with their own email addresses from the city so that we can, uh, as we receive emails from our constituency, uh, they come and can be in one place. Uh, most of us you have to be have to give our business or our personal email address. Um, I, for one, would just like to have a city council address so that people know that they can get a hold of me at that particular address. It also, I think, would help with the communication between the councils so we don't have to try to re remember everybody's unique email address. Um, and with that request, I'd also like um, some consideration for the establishment of a city council portal. And by having a portal, the uh, packages that we that I currently receive electronically, that others could, could receive electronically, would not have to come via email and be downloaded. They would be on that portal, which would also add the added advantage of having that nice new screen that we put up there. Those could be on display and you could eliminate the need for all of the uh, extra packets being produced, which would save us a lot of money and paper. So moved. Great motion. Mr. President? Yes. Would you, would you be available to give a tutorial about uh, the use of the portal, please? Absolutely. Heard the motion? Oh, come. I'm sorry, just a quick question for uh, Councilor Gravel through you, Mr. President. Um, I know our, our um, state email address is through the Port Authority. We can't put them on our personal phones. Um, do you know if the city of Tim, maybe you know this, or Dave, maybe you already know. Can we put city email addresses on our regular phones um, to receive emails through, through there? My understanding is you can. Thank you. I uh, hear the motion. All in favor? Any opposed? It's a vote. Further motions. Uh, I have no further motions. Do you, um, can I have a motion to receive 8A? Move to receive item 8A under suspension of the rules. And this is regular rules. This is regular rules. G. 8G. Mr. President, move to receive item 8G and set up a public hearing. Don't know if vote. Excuse me? Don't need a vote. Yeah. All, all in favor? Any opposed? There's a vote. Mr. President, move to receive item 8I and set up a public hearing. <clears throat> you hear the motion? All in favor? Any opposed? There's a vote. Um... We have a motion except 9A. Move to uh, approve taxi cab license transfer Sunshine Car Services LLC 153 Newbury Street, license number 35. All papers being in order, so moved. Uh, do we have one 9B transfer? Do we take you, that already? You, you have to yeah. vote the motion. I'm sorry. You have to vote the I'm motion. I'm sorry. Um, heard the motion. All in favor? And the polls is the vote. Nine D, Council Gravel. Nine D, taxi limousine driver's license, Leanne Ward, license number forty-eight, uh, Anderson Bachelor, license fifty-one, Andrew Arnillo, Arnello, license fifty-two. Move to receive and approve, subject to all papers being in order. Heard the motion. All in favor? Any opposed? It's a vote. We'd like to take it home for the rest of the way. General license 9E general licenses renewals for 2018 in holders license Hampton in Boston Peabody 59 Newbury Street entertainment license Italian American Citizens Club 7 Blaney Ave lodging house licenses Northfield Properties DBA to Main Street downtown Peabody LLC to Main Street move to receive and approve subject to all papers being in order heard the motion all in favor any opposed it's a vote 9F is utility contractors license Jay Whiting, Contracting, Inc., 3 Murray Hill Lane, Andover, Mass., Robel, Inc., 72 Page Street, Lunenburg, Mass., move to receive and approve subject to all papers being in order. 
The motion, all in favor, any opposed, is the vote. Mr. Chairman? Yes. I think um, we, we missed 9C, use of the Wigan Auditorium by the Peabody Education Foundation on May 17th. Mm -hmm. Did you already do that? Okay, thank you. Um, brings us to 10 unfinished business uh, from the preceding meetings. You know the order. It's, uh, it's adjourned. Motion to adjourn. Move to adjourn. Lands speed record. That's it.